From an official standpoint, the countdown has begun, or rather gotten a bit more serious from the Call of Duty official socials that they started little countdown teasers. Yesterday we got one that proved to be insightful, but also may offer up more questions than answers to some degree. So today we're breaking down what you need to know and what you need to be aware of heading into the week ahead and Call of Duty next upcoming. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. Of any of these little teasers, is there anything in particular that really stands out to you? If you'd like to hear more about whatever the case, drop it down below. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We'll be live with COD next, either here on the YouTube channel or over on my Twitch channel. But beyond that, we'll have all kinds of early access footage and breakdowns of everything coming up as it happens. If you'd like to join us on that route to half a million subscribers, while we'll staying up to date with everything Modern Warfare 2, I'd love to have in the community. That said, Let's jump into it. So firstly, starting with yesterday's teaser. That's something you'll see on screen right now, but out of this, we actually saw a decent bit of stuff in regards to the perks, some maps, as well as game modes on offer for what's upcoming in this multiplayer reveal. To me, the biggest part that I think we can take away from this is some of the perks. This will be, along with the game modes, the first time, if I'm not mistaken, we've seen officially anything in regards to perks. Now, the freeze frame that you'll see right now showcases what a lot of people think the general consensus is double time, sleight of hand, restock, Ghost and Hardline. And I'm mostly inclined to agree with that, though I think that we might see one sort of slight deviation here with this. Double Time checks out, that was in the leaked game files from Warzone Mobile. Sleight of Hand, though, well, Sleight of Hand was not one of the leaked perks that we saw within Warzone Mobile's game files. And again, a brief rundown of how that works. Warzone Mobile is meant to be the Warzone 2 extension here for mobile, so it's being built mirroring Warzone 2, which is then built on Modern Warfare 2's game files. So that's why we saw some runoff here and why some of that stuff leaked early. But while Sleight of Hand was not a leaked perk, that doesn't mean that it's not the same effect that we'll end up seeing. Instead, if this is still referring to a standalone perk and not a weapon perk, I think this one instead might be called Hustle. There was a perk from the Warzone mobile game files that leaked under that name, and if it sounds familiar, it's probably for a reason. Back in Call of Duty World War II, the perk system then, the basic training systems, included one called Hustle. Now, Hustle in and of itself was kind of the product of two perks, but put together in a lesser degree. The main thing that Hustle ended up giving you was a sort of sleight of hand effect, but it wasn't as strong as or as fast as sleight of hand by comparison. But to compensate for that somewhat lower reload speed, it also allowed the player to reload while on the move, essentially merging a weakened version of sleight of hand with the gung-ho perk. Now, with no gung-ho previously found in the Warzone mobile game files, as well as no designated sleight of hand perk, but instead something that matches up with the same relative icon as a prior perk, that's kind of my guess here on that one. Then, restocking Ghost checks out Hardline. I've seen some chat about because that is the Hardline perk icon, but with a star design, there's the discussion about is this a pro perk tease? And I can see the thought process behind that, being that it's identical to older COD perks of Hardline, and it does look to have that sort of star design that pro perks previously only had and was reserved for pro perks in the past. So it's a logical assumption. There was the rumor that pro perks would return here, but with a freeform design this time around, as opposed to, say, in Modern Warfare 2019, where they were all patches, they were all uniform and sort of a square design nature with the icon in the middle, I just think this might be one of those things where the rigidity of the design is showcased rather than it just being a uniform sort of square with an icon in the middle. I don't know if that points towards pro perks coming. I would be interested to see how that would work out to begin with if they do bring them back. But for right now, I wouldn't read too far into it just yet. Now, the only thing that's weird here in regards to the perks is the two on the left, double time and what I'm going with as hustle. These two aren't aligned like the others. The other ones on the right, it looks like as if they're listed in their sort of normal tiers that you'd see towards the tier two of perks right now. We have restock, hardline, overkill, high alert, ghost, and point man for Modern Warfare 2019 in that tier two category. That's all one singular tier, just vertical, you have to choose one. But why are the other two listed underneath another icon is interesting to me. My immediate thought would be that previous leak listed from the Ghost of Hope, who proposed that the perk system this year would include four perks per class. In doing so, you'd have two perks in tier one, these apparently being for your overall playstyle, while tier two and tier three perks would be more gameplay oriented with no ability to swap the two perks to tier two or tier three. Tier one would always have those two perks by designation. So my immediate thought is, oh, well, this is our new tier one perks that we're seeing with the likes of a slight of hand and gung-ho hybrid mixed with a movement perk a sort of overall maybe speed based perk selection for tier one but what i don't get is that icon above those two perks that's not a perk icon that's a game mode icon more specifically search and destroy matched exactly to the corresponding icon from the warzone mobile leaks a while ago so why would two perks be listed under a game mode 
Are these now game mode specific additional perk sets? That sounds really weird to me if that's the case, but I'm also not going to rush to any conclusions just yet, given that we are only a few days away from having everything explained to us. So not going to lie, nice to see some perks here. Just please don't make Ghost the same way as it was in Modern Warfare 2018, protecting players that don't move make it active only upon movement but anyways after that we can talk a little bit about some maps that we ended up seeing moving forward we saw a few glimpses of two maps one on the left which we really can't discern much and having cross-referenced it i was assuming that it would be one of those leaked loading screen images but it doesn't seem to be one of those so unfortunately this one's still a wild card can't quite say exactly what i think this would be in confidence the other one though it's interesting because it's a mini map top down view of a map labeled in the nato phonetic alphabet sierra india romeo alpha this is Sira, which was actually part of the leaked Warzone point of interest list that we ended up seeing. And so therefore, my guess is this is probably going to be some sort of ground war or battle map. Right now, we don't quite know the max amount of players we'll see in a match. Modern Warfare 2019 went up to 32v32. We don't know if Modern Warfare 2 is going to continue that in terms of matching that player count, exceeding it, or reeling it back a little bit. Because the last two years that we saw with both Blitz as well as combined arms in their respective games didn't go up to that max of 32v32. So we don't quite know the scaling in terms of player base, but based off that top down image it could be something that is larger than it appears to be it could be something that might be the size of like a nea palace that mini map top down view doesn't look too big but in reality it's a pretty big map still either way it might be something though we end up seeing in this multiplayer reveal which is pretty cool because it seemed like we'd end up seeing saeed and sarif bay as battle maps first but if this is a new one introduced i'd be cool with that and then finally as for game modes this is where it gets kind of interesting because the way the flash works on this it looks like it's the capture the flag logo as well as domination those emblems have actually leaked before so the domination is an exact match but the other one where people are thinking it might be capture the flag that turns out whenever you get a clearer shot at it to be two swords crossing rather than two flags so whether or not that's capture the flag we don't quite know but it's a nice indicator here and would be pretty cool to see ctf in launch as a base game mode especially even during a beta for the first time in as long as i can remember for whatever reason it's just in one of those ltms as opposed to being just a base fundamental game mode like we seen in the past but anyways that's what we learned here out of the most recent teasers and what we can take away from it so a lot more is probably upcoming we'll keep you the day with everything you need to know in the meantime but for now that's what we're gonna call it so love to get your thoughts and feedback down below what do you guys like in here out of this do you like the sound of the new perk system potentially being a sort of merged perk system or are you happy to see some of these perks returning do you think my prediction on hustle is right whatever the case drop your thoughts down below but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things my Modern Warfare 2. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.